I may officially be lost at this point, but I think I need to be playing Jurassic Park music now. All eyes on the way I thought when I walk into the room. Wind blows underneath the soles of my brand new pair of shoes. Oh my god, I am totally lost. Can you help me get out of here? I'm looking for the main road. No sweat in the way I step, I got a fresh new attitude. Oh no. Guess who made it to Canada? And guess who's super excited about it too? I was a little bit stressed because it's like, oh, you have to jump through some hoops. But I made it to Canada. And yes, I am holding bear spray. And that is because I am officially lost. I'm actually supposed to be looking for a a lake to camp on that the government website says that there's free dispersed camping at this lake and if you look at this this is definitely not a lake this is an incredibly beautiful river but it's not the lake i'm looking for so oh <laughs> yikes anyways i still have time to find it i'm not too worried about that i'm just so happy to be in canada the night before i camped in eureka and that was beautiful beautiful just free camping right there on the border right before you cross into canada i'm in Eureka, Montana, which Eureka, I love the name already. It's right on the border of Canada. And uh, Eureka is a really cool show that the Sci-Fi Channel did a long time ago. Very wholesome, very fun, entertaining. They're all science nerd geeks, like, yeah, coming up with new stuff. Anyways, this is a free camping spot. Super, super nice. There's a lot of positives. One, I'm all alone. But okay, you're wondering, was it freaking hard to get into Canada? And the answer was... Yes, I had to definitely jump through hoops. I couldn't just drive over the border. You have to be fully vaccinated and you have to have a COVID test within the last 72 hours. And then plus all the other rules on top of it, when you're entering Canada, I have everything that's digitally on my phone. So I had it all put into an album for them. So when I pulled up to the border checkpoint, I could say, here you go. Just, you know, flip through the album, like what you want to look at. So out of all the paperwork I had, the only thing he really cared about to look at was the COVID stuff. He wanted to see, okay, you're vaccinated and you have a COVID test that's less than 72 hours. Those were the big things. I didn't actually did not wear a mask. I was totally just up there. I totally forgot. I'm just driving my car. I normally don't have a mask on. So I don't think I'm supposed to have a mask on. I totally forgot though. I In my head, I told myself I was going to wear a mask when I got to the checkpoint. I did not. And uh, anyways, everything was going good to go. He, then he looked up at my kayak and he's like, Oh, kayaking. And uh, so he asked me a few questions and he's like, yeah, you're going to definitely have to pull into secondary. And I'm like, okay, no problem whatsoever. And uh, I guess his supervisor came out, asked a few more questions to fill it out. He actually strapped on this metal thing onto my kayak. Okay, so this is what the uh, Border Patrol, Canadian Border Patrol, they did. I checked it out that they uh, attached this thing, tied it to here. And he was super nice, but he gave some warnings. He's like, until I get permission to unhook that, I am not allowed to unhook that in Canada. They may arrest me. They may find me. He just said, the consequences are pretty bad. And so I'm like, oh man, if I slam on my brakes and the kayak goes flying off the car, I don't think this string is going to hold up. Yes. I am, I think I'm in the Canadian Rockies and no cell service here, all alone. I have bear spray. I need more bear spray. Ah, uh, I have my bear spray with me and uh, hey, I just know that I, I have Kate Clouds and Kids Out Wild sticker representing and the Tetons. Lake Powell, I guarantee, was infested. Wyoming kind of freaked out when I entered Wyoming with my kayak. They cleaned the whole thing, 140 degree temperature, uh, which I was using Fahrenheit, which I hope that wasn't, I'm sure they're used to it though too. And I said 160 degree uh, Fahrenheit for the uh, outside and they cleaned my kayak for me. And he had, wanted to know how long ago was Lake Powell. And I was like, actually, it feels like it was in June uh, when I was in Lake Powell. If you all remember the seven mile swim in June, I did too it's all started with me and a kayak first and me and my friend and yeah we it just was a disaster so I was like you know I'm coming back and I'm swimming this and uh, I love that adventure so much but yes Lake Powell is not a place you want to launch boats because they have an invasive muscle inside of there and no state or country wants that invasive muscle he was super nice he's like just please don't 
put this kayak in the water until somebody calls you. Somebody will probably call you in the next 24 hours or email you. And I hope they email me because I don't have cell service, but uh, I will not launch the kayak. He said, well, if I make it to Alaska, he's like, when do you think it would be in Alaska? And I said, seven days, 14 days, maybe never. I don't. He's like, I love it. That's awesome. But he said, please just don't break the seal. He said, you'll be in a lot of trouble if you break the seal. And he doesn't want to see me get into trouble. So I was like, oh, 100%. Yeah, no problem whatsoever. I have no plans to kayak right now. I just I want to explore and look at beautiful Canada at the moment. So to answer the question to the video, was it entering Canada hard? Yes, it was a hassle to enter Canada. Once you had everything, I was ready to go. It was actually pretty easy, but it wasn't like I could just say, hey, I'm going to wake up today and go to Canada. It was incredibly hard to get a COVID test. And here's a little bit of hypocrisy with the COVID thing is when I went to get a COVID test, everybody was booked. Walgreens does them for free. The county does it for free, but the county said, I'm not a resident. I have no symptoms. I'm only wanting, wanting this for travel. And they told me to go to the clinic and the clinic, I go into there and there's legit sick people in the clinic and there's a lady coughing in there. And I'm like, oh shoot, I have my mask on and everything. I was like, well, I don't want to get COVID here. Anyways, I tell them what was up. They told me, yeah, no problem. It's going to be $110 and just go sit back in my car. And I said, great. They gave me paperwork all this stuff and uh, at that point I didn't have to enter the uh, clinic again and they did everything from my car so that was awesome but now I'm going to be a very upset if I somehow get it in the next three to seven days or something if I get COVID I know it's because of that clinic but of course I'm completely isolated fully vaccinated and I'm probably the healthiest I've been in my life I have some news to share with you by the way I shared it with my patrons I said it was tears of joy I just wanted to thank you because because without Patreon, I don't know if I would be here. So thank you so much to the patrons. And uh, I'm going to share it with everybody and put it in an actual video together why I had tears of joy. Uh, but uh, maybe you can kind of guess if you just... I'm looking a little thinner, maybe. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it, definitely consider if you're ever considering just $1, you can get access to everything. I went live on Saturday. It was really awesome to talk to everybody. I'm also in the chat room quite often, but I try to always be there Friday nights. Unless I don't have cell service. So nobody faults you for that, though. Everybody's super cool and they understand. <laughs> it's like, dude, just, yeah, you're okay. If you're lost, you're lost. I love it. Anyways... I am lost in the most beautiful place in the world. And I need to get another bear spray though. I would feel more confident if I had a bear spray like on either side of me, like pistols or something. And because if one doesn't work, you want to back up bear spray. <laughs> so that's on my bucket list. Okay. I'm going to let everybody go. There's still so many other things I want to do. And I, again, have a million videos I want to get out. And this was never one on the list I wanted to get out. But it got out. And there it is. So I love everybody. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. And yes, I'm in Canada. So if you're in Canada, hello, welcome. And thank you for letting me into your country. That is super, super kind of you. I am loving Canada so far. I'll let you guys know how it's going to go after this, guys and gals. And, uh, oh my God. <laughs> okay. I got to get going though. Uh, and oh yeah, there's zero, zero mosquitoes. That's super, super awesome. So zero, zero mosquitoes and, uh, yeah. And yeah, the car is just right up there. And again, this is wild. I'm loving it. All right. Love everybody. Bye.